Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another ad hoc edition of the unapologetic Negropian. Today I want to do this quick video, um, unedited, unscripted, just me talking and there is a subject which has been bothering me for the last 10 months, at least for the last 10 months. Um, and I just thought I'd share my thoughts with you. I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share and click the bell notification first so you can know when I'm going to post something, okay? Okay, so <clears throat> what's been bothering me? This Black Lives Matter movement, it's been bothering me. I appreciate what they're doing. I appreciate the fact that they are fighting injustice um, in any way, okay? But what bothers me is that moniker, Black Lives Matter. Who are they communicating that to? Who are they communicating it to? Are they communicating it to me? They're not communicating it to me. I already know that Black Lives Matter. Most black people already know that black lives matter. You don't need to have an organization to tell black people that our lives matter. So who are they telling it to? They're telling it to people who don't believe that black lives matter. Do you understand? Okay, so they're telling it to other races and other ethnicities and they're telling these people, they're trying to educate them and tell them, hey, black lives matter too. Does that not go without saying? Why do we need to communicate it? Because we are communicating it to people who, whose society we live in, okay? So they, they hold all the cards, they have all the keys, and we live in their society, and, but we want to be included in that society, and this is what the problem is. Black Lives Matter is trying to teach other races that we, as a people, want to be included into their society, that we want validation from these people. Well, I beg to differ. This is the reason I'm making this video. Because you see, why should we educate these people? Why does it matter? Why do we care? Why do we care about what they think? It, we care because we are, of course, a caring people. We, black people, Africans, whatever you want to call us. Call us a potato for all I care, I don't care. What you identify as. We are different. We, we care so much about what other people think about us. And thus, those feelings can be used against us and used against our children, which is not good. Okay, so, does Black Lives Matter? Yes, of course they do. That, that goes without saying, but, but we, we shouldn't care. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, but we shouldn't care about what other races think about us. I think we as a people care too much about what other races think about us. You know, I, there are many races that I hark on about. I talk about a lot, don't I? And I don't have many nice things to say about other people, okay? But there are so much things that we can learn from other races, from other ethnicities, 
there are so much great things that we could learn and we could incorporate into our own race, society, people, whatever you want to call it. I, I bring up a lot about the Chinese and about their mindset. Chinese have a brilliant mindset. They, they, they are great, really, when it comes to the way they think as a people. Okay? As an ethnicity. Right? Chinese ethnicity. Yeah. Ch Chinese is an ethnicity, isn't it? Yeah. You can be ethnically Chinese and be from Taiwan. Right? Okay. So, Chinese is an ethnicity. So, have you ever tried to be racist towards a Chinese person? Have you ever said something nasty to a Chinese person? No, you probably haven't, but... Try it. Go ahead. See if it makes a difference to that person's day. I can almost guarantee you that if that Chinese person hasn't been brought up in the West, your thoughts, you, whatever you said, will just fall on deaf ears. They won't hear you. They don't care about what you think. They don't care about what black people think about them. They don't care about what white people think about them. They don't care. In fact, if you're not ethnically Chinese, they don't care about what anybody else thinks. That's the truth. That's the way they live. That's the way they teach their children. And what does this do to them? It empowers them. Because they don't have to deal with what other people think and say about them. Could you imagine a world, living in a world without racism? Living in a world without pre prejudice? Because prejudice is not a problem. It's the way we react to prejudice. That, that is the problem. The Chinese have people prejudging them all the time. But because they don't care about what those people think, it doesn't affect them. So, if you can understand this, we, as a black people, need to adopt this method of thinking. We need to teach our children this method of thinking because right now the onus to try and stop racism we put that onus on changing the people who are racist that's impossible it is never going no well, i say never it's not going to happen for a very 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 long time okay your generation are going to deal with it, your kids' generation are going to deal with it, and your kids' kids' generation are going to deal with it if we have this system where we believe that we need to change racist people in order to end racism. It's not going to happen that way. The way we can end it is by building our own society, having control of our own society, having control of our own destiny, having control of our own industries, having control of our own um, um, companies, our own um, um, our own society in general, just we, we don't, our own nations I should say, right? If we have control of this if we have this, and we, we can have this, right, then, then we will always have a place that we can go back to, like the Chinese have their place where they go back to. Take a look around, actually. I want you to do this, right? I want you to see how many Chinese are going to be tuning in to see who's, who's won the election in a few months' time. You think they're going to care? I could tell you something else. There were going to be lots of black people, 
from the entire diaspora, forget about the United States of America, from the entire diaspora are going to be tuning in to see who wins the next presidential election in the United States. But the Chinese don't care about who runs the United States. They don't get, they're like, yeah. And this is what I am saying we need to adopt in our children, if not uh, us, into our children, that mindset. So the feelings, the thoughts, the opinions of people that dislike them won't affect them. It, it will render these people absolutely obsolete in their minds. I have built a life here in the West where the opinions, the thoughts, um, the feelings of the natives doesn't matter to me. I have my balls in my own hands. There's nothing no one can do to me. I can't get fired. I can't fire myself. I work for myself, so. I have my own destiny in my own hands. So I get to live my life. And along with having my own mindset as well, where I believe that the only people who matter are people that look like me and like most of you. Then my world will be beautiful, no matter where I live. And this is why it's important we adopt this mindset, because it, it doesn't matter whether you're a Pan-African or whether you are uh, a nationalist or whatever you are. All of a sudden, you've snatched power away from a group of people who need it in order to subjugate you. So, I don't want to harp on, but this is really the way I think we should go. And this is exactly what I'm teaching my younger children, my older children, and it's a bit too late for it to teach them now. I will speak to them about it. I have spoken to them about it, but the reality is, is that the world is a beautiful place, right? And we don't need other people controlling it and dictating it for us. Take back that power, put it into your own hands. Imagine how beautiful this world would be if you don't have to continuously tell people, oh, I care, I matter, I matter in this world. Why are you seeking, uh, why are you seeking validation from people who are, for all intents and purposes, irrelevant? They are irrelevant to you. And if they are relevant to you, you should make them irrelevant, okay? So, what are your thoughts about this? I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's been bugging me for a few months now, but I really wanted to make sure people got to hear it. Um, please, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Am I talking rubbish? Maybe I'm talking rubbish. Maybe I'm talking bollocks. Let me know in the in the comments section below. Let me know, and um, if you have an answer to this, because I don't have an answer. Okay, I don't know how we're going to implement something like this. All I know is I can teach my children, and that's it. But if you know an answer, sort of a system of a way a, a way that we can teach us broadly, teach us as a people. Uh, as, as a mass of people, if you have an answer to that, please let me know in the comments section. It would be really good to to speak to you about it. And yeah. Let's see what we can do. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So, 
Uh, guys, thanks for listening. Really, really appreciate the fact that you're listening to me. Uh, really appreciate the fact that you guys are following me. I've got guys who have just subscribed as well uh, in the last couple of days. Hello, welcome to the family. Thank you for subscribing. Um, this is not the usual format. Um, I'm working on a format at this present moment and the quality of the videos are going to go up substantially very, very soon. So um, keep watching this space, okay? So guys, um, have a good day, think twice and ta a bit.